All right, going to show how to mount a flat screen TV. Uh, for this project, I have a Sanus uh, full motion wall mount. It's for TVs up to 32 inches. Now, um, this project can easily be done just with one person. I did it myself. It's not a big deal. If you have anything bigger, probably need two people. So the first thing you need to do when you're selecting a wall mount is you need to see what you have on the back of your TV. Um, you locate the where it's going to be mounted, where the screws are, and just measure it. And you can see mine's in a nice little square pattern. It's four inches in, in all directions. And uh, most of the mounts, you can find that info on there. And uh, they usually have, like this one, it matches up perfectly, but it has an extension. It has extensions to, if, it, if, it's, uh, if the holes are wider and so forth. So it's two pieces here. So there's a mount that I'm going to mount right a bracket, I should say, right on the back of the TV, and then the mount itself goes to the wall and it just uh, slides on. And this particular mount is full motion, so it moves left and right and then it has some tilt to it. Um, and you can see that's the mount of the bracket that's just going to slide on. So what I'm going to do here first, and there you go, I'm just showing again, that's how it's going to stick on the, t on the wall, and then I just, the TV and the bracket hook onto it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the bracket onto the back of the television. Uh, the bracket came with screws. There's some different sizes, uh, so just you know test it out first. You can see I'm just going to screw it in here. I'm going to speed it up, so you know just uh, four screws and um, some washers. Now I'm going to go on the wall. I'm going to first find the stud. This one specifically says you need to mount it where there's a stud. And I actually already had found it. You can see I had a little template that came with it uh, to test it. I also then, once I find the stud, pick a nail and just pound it in. And if it goes straight through, it means you missed the stud. If it gets, like it feels like it's hitting uh, wood, then you find the stud. Uh, the third step here is when I'm going to drill some pilot holes. Uh, the instructions give the bit size. And I drill two pilot holes with the template that came along with this particular mount. Now there's the mount itself. It's got a cover, but I can rotate this to the, all the way to the left, pull this cover off, and you can see there's, there's two holes, there's one at the top and the bottom, and that's where these lag bolts are going are gonna to go, and I'm going to screw those in. And there's just two of them, so uh, they're nice big bolts. The TV itself only weighs 10 pounds, uh, so this, this is more than enough to hold it, so I'm just going to start screwing these into my pilot holes, and we're going to speed this up in a minute here. And it took a little while, but uh, and, and then also you want to let level it so you can see I have a level, make sure it's nice and level. Uh, once it's all level, I'm good to go and I can kind of slide that uh, cover back on. And now on the back of my TV, there's the bracket. And this is all I got to do is initially just, there's a little hook there and I just hook it on and now it's hanging. Um, now there's also a little safety, safety bolt I'm going to stick back there and uh, tighten that up and also you know once I get this done uh, there's also a little loop and it comes with a zip strip I can tie those um, cables back for right now I just I just left it you know you'll see hanging you can kind of see it in the picture there's the cables I could pull those back and I have to get something to, to hide those there's a bunch of different products but that's all you need to do